In this video I'm going to create a regular recurring campaign on our large mailing list. So this is on our big list uh, of imports. To show you what I mean I'll just have a quick look at the list now. So here is the list of um, imports. So I've got 500,000 here that I've imported and what we want to do is send a um, email to this list only a few people each day um, starting off at maybe 20 or 30 per day and building up so that we can send 5,000 or even 10,000 per day as we warm up our uh, IP addresses. The people who open the email that we send out each day will go into a separate list here which is a list of openers and once we've sent an email to everyone on the list they get removed from the big list and moved over to this list. So these are the people that have we have sent to, but they haven't opened the uh, the list or the, they haven't opened the emails yet. So start by going to either click on campaigns here, or we can go to the side. We want to actually go to regular campaigns for this one. Um, this is a recurring. Um, email that's going out on a daily basis on autopilot. Uh, so as you can see here I already have some that have been going out, only 15 emails at a time so starting small but what I'm doing now with my warm-up is sending out maybe three or four times per day instead of just uh, once per day like I was originally doing with my warm-up. And here is the process so I've got one here that is currently pause I'm going to end this, so we're going to go to the tick box, mark this one as sent. Now normally you won't have to do this, you would just edit the existing one, uh, but I'm going to actually set up a new one here for you. So we want to uh, copy the existing uh, broadcast that's going out now, or campaign, so we click on copy. You don't need to change the name here, it'll automatically do that for you. Go next. Okay, here we have um, the subject line that's going out to our email. We can actually have emojis on here, so we can actually add something. Um, if you want to move it to the front of the subject line, you can just do copy and paste, control C, move it to where you want to have it, and then control V. So you can copy and paste, turn off that list again. You can just delete them with the keyboard. Um, I'm just happy to leave the one there that I've got now. The other thing that we can do as well is we can use the random content feature which is in available tags. Uh, I'll just see if I can find it here on the list. Random content. So what you would do is copy and you can paste that on the subject line which I already have there so I'm not going to do it now and you can have two or three or four as many different subjects as you'd like and these will actually rotate for each email that goes out so every person's getting a different subject line and different content in their email although the, the email is basically the same so here we have many people are working from home and the next one se separated by a pipe next one is are you able to work from home? Would you like to work from home? And then close with a bracket on the end. So that is a great way to have three different subject lines so that we've got different subjects going to each, pe each person. Okay, next thing we need to do is go to max subscribers. I want to send out to 20 people. We want this to be set on random. So this will take 20 random people out of our large list and it will email them. The next thing is a pre-header is sort of like a preview. So some people will actually see a preview under the subject line in their email uh, when they receive it in their inbox and that might in, um, encourage them to actually open the email. The other thing as well, we want to click on show more here. Um, I've added a field which has opened and changed it to yes. So if someone opens the campaign here is a field that I've added. You can do the same yourself and just change that to yes. But the other thing we want to look at here is actions against subscriber upon 
open campaign so click on the plus we want to move them to a list of openers when we send the email we want to move people to a list called sent and not opened so the first thing that happens when we send the email is these these 20 people will get moved to the sent list if they open an email then they'll move automatically to the openers list and the openers list is the one that we promote our affiliate products to so click save and next okay now this is where we have our random content again so we can have um, maybe three or four sentences or more if we want to showing random content and I'll just highlight each one here so I've actually got um, on the first line I have two random choices so the first one is here during these, during these troubled times it's important to try not to lose yourself in all of the crazy around the world the second one is here separated by this a little pipe oh, you find that on your keyboard um, just above the enter button I think that is usually and the second option I've got here is I can't believe how crazy the world is right now so use use this um, add random content so that people are getting different messages each time instead of sending 10,000 of the exact same message so we're, we're having random or rotating content on the subject line and also during the actual email itself okay now you can actually add an image yourself which can be hosted on your autoresponder um, I'll just click on mine here I believe I've got mine hosted here I'm not sure on this one can't remember yeah I do so if you wanted to insert your image um, I'm just going to create a new one here click on the image icon here to insert an image click on browse server this is uh, something that I've uploaded so I can now use that image double click on that one you can resize it if you want to make it smaller so for instance I want to make it smaller like that and just hit OK and done now if you want to upload an image to the server um, you just use your file explorer in Windows to do that and I will see if I can find an image here that I can upload now to upload an image go back to wherever we want to insert it for starters click on the image button browse this gives us our upload location so go to our file explorer find an image we want to add um, here's one here that just says make money online if I want to insert that in my uh, email for instance just drag that over and drop it that will get uploaded to my website and then I can actually double click on that one to use it okay so I might have to change the size it might be too big so I'll say um, make that 300 wide and the height will be adjusted automatically there okay so now if we want to uh, insert this on our website you know, maybe we want to add it down here under the PS section for instance Okay. Maybe I will delete the PS instead of having people hit reply, and I'll use this instead. I can resize that a little bit there as well. But let's say I want to uh, put a link on that one so I can send people to my website and try to make some sales. You can double click on it is probably the easiest way to open this up insert a link to the program you want to insert I usually set this to new windows so that if they're in webmail and click on the link it'll open up on a new a new tab for them and hit OK, OK and then you're done so that has now added it to the email now this particular email I'm not going to add that in 
Um, I'll probably put this in a different one, uh, maybe that I send to my affiliate office too. So let's remove that for now. Remove the spaces out of here so this email looks great. And everything else is okay here. So let's um, let's click save and next. Now we want this to be recurring so that it goes out. Um, I'm going to say four times a day, uh, every six hours. So it will start off with going straight away now, but then every day click on the actual, I'll start this again from scratch. So we want every day, not every hour, but let's do say three and six is nine and six is 15 and six is 21. So every six hours and we'll make that 15 minutes past the hour. Okay, for this email. Um, you can do this at any different times, but you can send three emails eight hours apart or you can send one lot of emails uh, every six hours like I've done now. So I'm sending four times a day and this will help warm up your list. Okay, and send campaign. Now this is done, this is actually set up. It will begin sending the first one now and I will show you what I mean by the random content. So beside your email list, um, is, you can actually click on this to view the web version um, of what someone would see if they were open it in their webmail. So click that now and here it is. So it says, hi first name, I can't believe how crazy the world is right now. What's this text here? As I hit the refresh button on my keyboard, you'll see the content will actually change. So this is how it works. Everyone will receive a different modified version, um, the rotating content on here. So we're not sending the same email to 10,000 people in a day. We're getting slightly different variations, um, which is also good for you know people trying to you know, block you for spam, that sort of thing. So we'll close that again now. And I think that's all we need to do. The email has been set up and it's ready to go now. So this will be a recurring email. The first one is just gone. Uh, so it's underway. It'll continue to do that now. It'll send 20 emails out four times a day. Now the goal with um, sending is to get our sender's reputation up as high as we can. So we want to aim for a target of 100. Um, we do this by going to this website, bulkblacklist.com. Get a list of your IP addresses. You can just copy them and paste. Check IPs. And you get the score on each of your IP addresses. These two haven't had enough uh, emails sent on them yet, so they don't have a score. But you can see on my other IPs here, um, 98, 97, 99, 98. We're getting up close to 100. And as you get a higher score, closer to 100, you can increase the number of emails that you send out on your campaign each day. Um, so instead of only sending 20 four times a day, we'll increase it to 25, and then we'll increase it to 30, and then we'll increase it to 40. We'll keep increasing as we go. If these numbers start dropping, like getting down to like the 70s or 80s, for instance, then we won't increase our emails that we send out per day. We'll just leave it the same for a while, maybe for three or four days and then check again. But keep an eye on this. Um, now, just to give you an example, Spam House, um, has actually blacklisted these IP addresses in the past. Uh, so what I've done to get over it is just stop sending for about 30 days. Uh, just pause your campaign basically, and then you can restart it again. And by that time, hopefully you will not be blacklisted again. You'll be able to start sending. Uh, that's all we need for this uh, video, I think. I'll set up another one uh, shortly to show you how to send um, to like a autoresponder campaign, you know, Warrior Plus or offers or something like that, affiliate offers to your uh, to your prospects.